So um, when I was younger, my mom always thought I didn't have enough hair. And so she used to feed me a lot of black sesame. And it's actually one of her favorite bonbons is our black sesame and passion fruit bonbon. Um, I think that's probably one of our most uh, popular Asian inspired bonbons. Should I take that part out about my hair? Sorry, <laughs> hold on, I'll just say, all right, can we go back again? Sorry, sorry. My name is Susanna Yoon, and I'm the founder and chocolatier of Stick With Me Sweets here in New York City. So our mission at Stick With Me has always been to create one of the best gift chocolates in the world. Not only do the chocolates need to be delicious, but they also need to look aesthetically beautiful, complete with unique packaging designs. I like to draw my inspiration from the actual um, fruit or ingredient that I'm using for the bonbon, um, such as our passion fruit bonbon. It's got colors of copper and purple, and it's splattered with black and yellow, so it, it reminds you of passion fruit. Um, so I think a lot of the designs come from the actual ingredient. They inspire me. One of our most popular flavors is the New York, New York bonbon, inspired by Times Square. Uh, the brush strokes represent the colors and diversity of New York, and it's filled with peanut butter praline, crunchy pretzels, sea salt caramel, reminiscent of all the nut stands and pretzel stands that are around New York tip would be for everyone to be open and try all the different flavors. Some people like fruity flavors, some people like nutty flavors, but I believe there's a favorite flavor for everybody. Uh, we're also famously known for our caramels and I recommend trying the caramels as well. You can call it just brown sugar and honey caramel. I chose this recipe because it's both easy and delicious. All the ingredients are combined all at once and cooked together in a single pot. Um, it's also nice to make at home because it doesn't generate a lot of dishes. Hi, my name is Susanna Yoon and I'm the founder and chocolatier of Stick With Me Sweets in New York City. Today we're going to be making uh, brown sugar, honey and sea salt caramel. So first we're going to add the cream, brown sugar. Make sure you're using um, a heavy bottom pot like this off pad. We have our butter any salt of your preference, but preferably um, Verticel, Malden, or like a coarse salt, a coarse sea salt. Honey. This is our Madagascar vanilla bean. We're going to scrape out all the seeds, and then we can add in the vanilla bean pie for flavor. Make sure you have your thermometer ready. In the beginning, you can start off a little bit higher, uh, but once it comes up to a boil, you want to bring down the heat. So we're going to cook this to 122 Celsius. You can see that it's already come up. So at this point, you can actually start to lower the temperature because it can start to boil up. So we're going to cook it slowly. Don't be scared. If it starts to boil up like this, just, just take it off the heat. Or you can just turn off the heat. Always be careful. Don't ever walk away from the stove. I sound so strict. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Don't walk away from it. Sometimes it could, the caramel wants to jump out at you, so also be careful um, of the bubbles. If by chance um, caramel does jump onto your arm, don't try to wipe it off. Just run to the sink and wash it down with cold water. So honestly, this just needs to cook for like another like 20 minutes. 